assalamu alaikum my dear all students today we are going to discuss unit number 7 that is thank you teacher let's discuss the objectives that will be attained at the end of this lesson let's read it have a look on it use critical thinking to respond to the text post reading by applying word knowledge and opinion to the text read then we will discuss about use appropriate expressions in conversation to express regret and then we will discuss identify and utilize effective study skills for example brainstorm for note taking and in the last we will discuss about comprehension so let's start with the sequence that already given in your textbook you can see that on page number 71 students look at the questions this is a comprehension questions that uh, is based on the unit number 7 thank you teacher we already have read this so now we are in a condition to answer this questions so you all please do it on your own because you already have a concept about this so let's start question number 1 you can see that let's read it why did hamza write a note to his teacher can anyone tell yes think about it why did hamza write a note to his teacher yes yes because he want to thank his teacher for all the work who have who helped him a lot who helped him very much so let's write it Hamza wrote a note to his teacher because he want to thank his teacher who helped him very much students have a look on this hamza wrote a note to his teacher because he want to thank his teacher who helped him very much now look at this question number 2 name the features of a short note we already have discussed i am again showing you this look at this student page number 69 there is a note that hamza written to his teacher there is a date obviously so what are the features that they asked the features main features yes there is a date there is a receiver name there is a sender name so and the purpose write it answer number 2 date receivers name purpose and sender's name what are the main features i am again repeating number 1 the date then the receiver's name then the purpose and then the last the sender's name who sent the note now look at question number 3 how do you respect your teachers it's basically all having a different opinion about how uh, do you respect your teacher but in my case for uh, for example if i am so obviously i will greet my teacher and follow his instructions so i'm writing here the answer of that one answer number 3 i'm writing here uh 
I respect my teacher is to greet her and follow her instructions. So these are all the answers of the specific questions that asked in your textbook. Now students, another important topic that we are going to discuss. This is the invitation. As you can see on the board, I already have written it. And it is also available on your textbook on page number 71. What they say? Like, read the given reply to an invitation. Brainstorm and identify. Either it is an accepting note or declining note. Take the correct answer. First, that one. First, we need to... Uh, understand about what is an accepting note and what is a declining note. Accepting note, obviously, when you are accept that proposal, accept that invitation, and you are uh, now willing to uh, obviously accept that one. And if you are uh, unable to accept that invitation because of some sort of reasons, so that is an declining note, and someone is obviously complaining about you, so that is the uh, declining note. So let's read it. Whenever you receive or send a you, the main features of any kind of invitation includes that one, a date, the month first, then the date with a comma and with the year. And in the very next line, write the obviously receiver's name, dear Alina. And then start with the next line. Thank you for your, this, this is the purpose. What is this called? This is called a purpose. On what topic you want to share or you are going to write. Thank you for your kind invitation, invitation to your result celebration party. My sister and I will be happy to attend it. Okay? And eagerly forward to celebrate your success with you. So somebody has invited them. And in their reply, they have written this invitation. Replying into invitation in which they accepted that one. And they all will be willing to attend this party. And to celebrate this success. So what this kind of a note is? Accepting note or a declining note? They accept that invitation, so that means this is called an accepting note. I hope now you understand it. Whenever you write, uh, whenever you read any kind of invitation, any sort of a note, you are able to uh, grasp the meaning, the internal meaning, either that note is accepting one or a declining one. By reading the purpose of that one. Whenever you read the purpose, you might be able to conclude that either this invitation or any kind of a note is an accepting one or a declining one. So let's start with another important there is an exercise on page number 72 students. Now fill in the mind map for the short note you have just read. This is a short note and there is a mind map already I have made. Now we need to complete that mind map by looking at this note. So let's start. You can see that there is in a short note the important features. The date, the purpose, the receiver's name, and the sender's name. Now, here in the bubble form, date is written. What is the date? June 9, 2017. Written. June 9, 2017. Now, another one, purpose. What is the purpose? Obviously, invitation on 
रिजर्ट सेलिब्रेशन पार्टी इन्विटेशन वट इन्विटेशन ऑन योर रिजर्ट सेलिब्रेशन पार्टी इन्विटेशन ऑन योर रिजर्ट सेलिब्रेशन पार्टी फाइन नाउ मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन एंड द नेक्स्ट पबल सी दिस देर इज रिसीवर सेम हु इज द रिसीवर टेल मी Sanya. He, Sanya is the receiver. And who is the sender's name? This is Alina. Sender is the Sanya. Sender's name is Sanya. and the receiver because alina is receiving that one so receiver's name alida who is the receiver who received the letter who received the invitation so in this case who received the invitation alida and who is the sender sanya i hope now you may have an understanding about the receivers the sender's name and how we can write the date whenever we going to write a invitation or a note or a short note to anyone any of your family member any of your friend any of your important person and then don't forget to write the purpose of that one because that purpose is very much important if somebody is receive your invitation or any kind of a short note so through do your pub, uh, your purpose of writing he might he or she might have an understanding what is this invitation is about so move to the next one listen uh, listening and the speaking on page number 72 students look at this picture you can see it read the following situation and complete the speech bubbles and role play have you ever played a role uh, in uh, in your schools like any kind of a role play you have played obviously uh, that role play is about any of your uh, problem any of your uh, main theme and in which you describing your feelings and emotions so that is kind of as you can see that this is a boy and having tears on tears you can see their tears yes so what is this read this and then we will find it hamza has wasted a whole month he missed his old friends and school now he is worried about the monthly exams the exams are going to start the next day this is all about the hamzas because he left his previous school and friends and obviously in this tension he wasted his whole month and then now he is worried about the monthly exams that is approaching near and now what the exams are going to start and what he did he did nothing he didn't uh, study well and he was just uh, thinking about his old friends and his schools at that environment now what are these you can see it listening and speaking there are speech bubbles what is the purpose of this how we uh, this this is a kind of a role play of a student having a regret feelings what kind of a feelings regret feelings like bad feelings that if i can do i uh, if i did this so i can uh, attain that one so this is kind of a regret feelings now how what is the way to express it so in this speech bubbles we uh, will write it and i will show you how we can express the regret feelings number 1 i wish i had i wish i had prepared for the 
exams. Number one, you can see it. I wish I had prepared for the exams because now the time is up and uh, just have the regret feelings that I wish I had prepared it for the exams. Now, and the next one, I wish. What are the regret feelings? Yes, I had organized my study time. I wish I had organized my study time because I just all wasted my time in thinking my old friends, thinking about my old friends, my old school. So instead thinking of that one, I have prepared it so that I, I'll be able to get good marks in the monthly exams. I wish I had prioritized prior prioritize my studies instead of instead of wasting my time in other activities. I wish I had prioritized my studies instead of wasting my time in other activities. As you can see the last speech bubble, I, I wish I wish I had practiced difficult concepts isn't it I wish I had practiced my difficult concepts yes so in this way this is a role play and we are uh, express their regret feelings is in this and put the accurate feelings in these speech bubbles. This is just an example. You may write in your own words, whatever you might feel like uh, when looking at this picture. So this is your personal uh, opinion. So it's about you. Uh, do, at, do practice at home. This is just an example for you. So students, today we discussed very important things about how uh, we can uh, uh, interpret any kind of a short note or invitation. We discussed about it. We did uh, uh, questions, comprehension questions that given in your textbook. And then we created a mind map and we will grasp and we will interpret that one. And then after that, a role play, we uh, learned that how we can express and how we are able to write uh, to complete their speech verbals according to the given situation, according to the given scenario. So this is all about, I hope this lesson will be quite interesting for you and uh, quite helpful for you. Thank you very much. If you find any difficulty, consult your teacher and parents. Thank you.